Hey guys, welcome back to another video. You guys have not heard, the ocean did get some changes today. Some buffs to kind of fix the clunkiness for the most part. And a couple of small nerfs, honestly nothing too crazy. I thought I'd show you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop the patch notes here. I couldn't find on the official uh, Broader Patch Notes website, like the Ubisoft website, but I did find this thing here and I have tested some of this stuff and it looks good. Um, but we'll go ahead and go through this together. So, uh, first one's looking like Kali stance can now be activated at 200 ms from recoveries. Was 266 from lights and 366 from heavies. So, let's take a look here. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Okay, I would say that... I would say that's pretty accurate there, honestly. It's even faster when you hit them. I like that, that's good. Hopefully we should be able to punish more dodge attacks that way. Uh... Let's see if we can actually do that. Let's, uh... Oh. Maybe it only works on early dodge. Okay. Well, it does catch early dodge pretty well. Yeah, it catches early dodge pretty well. I mean, Peacekeeper does have one of the, uh... Kind of faster dodge attacks, so... You know, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why it, she got me with it, but... Obviously, it's not going to be as good as Black Prior still, in my opinion, but... Still, it's a it's a nice improvement. All right, next up it was attacks. Oh, sorry, Arashi now moves forward two meters up from one, and the follow can now be tar uh, target swap. Well, we're not gonna test the target swap. Obviously, we just got one uh, minion here, not minion, <laughs> bot. Um, supposedly this has more range. This has pretty good range. Wow, yeah, that's actually pretty decent range. You can backstep this before and hit him. Wow. Okay. So if you want to go all black prior strat with this crap, you could do that. I know a lot of BPs will do that. They'll uh, they'll backstep light and either go into full guard and beta beta punish, or they'll do the forward bash. So that's uh that's good. That's a that's a strong improvement. Uh, next up, uh, Tenu Kaze is now more difficult to dodge. Uh, I believe that's this move here. So obviously we can't really test that, but. That's good. I'm assuming more tracking, so that's good to know. I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off the screen because it is a little bit, uh, a little bit cluttery. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. All right, next is uh, Fusion Cuts stamina reduced to three. Now you can already kind of see that in the bottom right corner, but I'll go ahead and just show you guys. So the first hit, I think, is still gonna do uh, 12 if it's from a light, so it's total of 21. Uh, look at the zone one. Same, so 21. Okay, and the heavy one's gonna do more. 29. That's nice. That's uh, nine less stamina you're gonna use because it was six before. So that's good. That should help him with all the uh, stamina problems. Hakaze now does eight damage down from 12. Let's see which one Hakaze was. I think that was just the startup light. Yeah, it's just startup light. I didn't even know that did 12 before. But all right, cool. So now it does 18 damage total, not counting your first feet, so that's that's good. That's a good change. I think that's balanced. Uh, Kageru now does 4 bleed damage over 4 seconds, up from 3 damage. Well, that is good to see. That means your uh, first feet's going to do more damage. Honestly, a lot of people thought he did too much damage as is. I thought his damage was fine. So now he uh, he should do pretty good damage with that first feed active. He should be able to melt people a lot quicker. All right, recovery on the kick has been reduced. Uh, well, let's see. Well, you can't really tell. Let me see. Have them dodge than guard break. All right, well the guard break still hits. Although the to be fair, bots dodge on like perfect timing. So. Uh, I mean, I lighted relatively quick after. So, maybe it's better? I don't know. We'll have to see in-game. Alright, Hakaze, this is like one of the first nerfs. This now has 100 ms uh, guard break vulnerability. Now, how often is this actually going to make a difference? Probably not very often, but but now you can't just light on uh, light on red, essentially. Or if you can, you got to do it super early. You can't just last minute it. So, that's that's a good change. Alright, uh, Mujao Kaze's trajectory was adjusted to properly hit external targets. So that's this move. You know what? Let's see how this looks in uh, some uh, Dominion. So I thought a good way to test this, instead of going with uh, people or bots, 
Uh, minion clear, because it, and really it's way minion clear like one minion, so. Okay, that got three, that's actually not bad. So you might actually have good minion clear now for once. I will say, that wasn't too significant though. I did get a few minions compared to like one though. Okay, you know what? That's actually pretty good. Though his minion clear is going to be a little bit better. I still don't like how uh, Fusion Force doesn't really target the minions, but... but the zone does, which is pretty nice. And then his last change is just... It says fix an issue where follow-ups are too difficult to use if players block multiple attacks with Kaze Stance, so... I don't know if that's just like a quality of life change. That's what it sounds like. I guess maybe it was bugged before trying to use it if you were getting repeated hits done, but... I don't know, that's cool. I mean... Overall, these changes seem to really adjust the clunkiness for the most part and the recoveries, which were his biggest issues. And guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I know this is a short one, just want to go over the Kyoshin rundown. Apologize, I can't fully test it. I'm actually at work right now, so I had to just do what I could do. I wanted you guys to know this information. For those of you who thought Kyoshin was very clunky, which was very understandable, he still may be clunky after this, we'll see, but he should be a lot less. And I'll probably do a video here on him soon. But guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, found, found it informative, uh, leave a like. Helps me out quite a bit. And guys, you all have a great day. I'll catch you next time.